What's up, bosses? I'm Tarleen Raman Figueroa, your brand consultant at Boss Diplomat, making you look so good you can't be ignored. Welcome, welcome to episode four, guys. So, question of the day is I'm an entrepreneur. Why should I care how I dress myself? <laughs> I know this sounds like a question for a child. (laughs) When was the last time you were told what to wear? And when was the last time you actively, like consciously thought about how you present yourself? You probably don't realize this, but we have like less than seven seconds, okay, to make a really good first impression despite what you're doing, okay? You could be out shopping, for your groceries yes you could be on a zoom call okay for the first time with your client or repeatedly with your clients on zoom you could be in an in-person meeting now depending on the occasion that you are presenting yourself this is how we make a very conscious decision about what we wear and how to represent ourselves but for a lot of entrepreneurs and I see this all the time and it's like ah oh, come on I don't have to tell you this how you present yourself is so 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 important it doesn't matter if you're a lawyer or if you're a chef or if you're a plumber or a painter and in this video I'm going to explain why so we're here to talk about personal branding right that's why I'm here on this channel talking to you solopreneurs about personal branding personal branding is about you it's about putting you in front of your business so that you start to attract the right clients into your business and you're moving away from those tire kickers and you're no longer going to be attracting crappy clients you waste your time and waste your energy and in the long run waste your business dinero okay so when it comes to personal branding and how you show up in your business that really matters you have one chance and it's not like a 60 minute chance you have a second second impression on your clients with how you show up in your business it doesn't matter if it's in person or on zoom or virtually this is how you start building consistency because when you show up in the same way when you show up looking consistent, all of a sudden your clients start to think, ah, she has her shit put together, right? The way I put myself together is very, very strategic. It did not happen overnight. In fact, this is something that I started to really, really hone down into my business since last year. It's not been a long time. I have not been doing this forever, but it took forever to get to where I am right now. And I don't want you to make those same mistakes. Back when I was a diplomatic consultant, there was a certain dress code that I had to stick with. I felt like I had to wear a suit and the pants and the heels. I absolutely cannot stand wearing heels. But when you see other people in your industry dressing a certain way, it does get to your head. And you're thinking, I need to kind of mimic that if I want to be taken seriously in my profession. However, when you have a personal brand, you are able to inject some personality into your business, okay? You are able to be yourself, but you're doing it very, very strategically. If you're someone who likes to wear pink all the time, that's fine, but do it all the way. Don't just decide today's gonna be my pink day and then tomorrow's gonna be my ugh, whatever day. You have to stay consistent with that brand and this is how you start to build that reputation. Now let's take a traditional uniform versus your uniform. What we are doing with your personal brand is building that uniform into your business and into your life. This is why I provide image consulting for my solopreneurs because a lot of solopreneurs have a very like jagged understanding of how they should be putting themselves forward. With a personal brand, you are building a uniform per se. This is something that you wear every single day. I don't mean you wear the same clothes every single day. You wear the same style consistently. You don't deviate from that because the minute you start to deviate from that, your clients subconsciously and probably privately will think, oh my God, tarlene has got a baseball cap on and a hoodie and her hair is a mess. She must be having a really, really bad day. 
that's far from the truth. I might be having an excellent day, but I've just decided I just want to be casual today. But when you have a personal brand, you kind of can't do that anymore. So when I put my personal brand together, this headscarf is my only accessories. I don't really do accessories, you know, I'm very, I'm a very plain Jane, but I inject my personality through my colors, right? I know what colors to wear. And then once I know what colors to wear, I stick with my style guide. And my style guide is very, very personal to me. My style guide is my style guide. I'm not here to copy somebody else. I'm just dressing consistently the same every single day. I just switch out my blazer. I just switch out my t-shirt. I just switch out the headscarf. Um, I also switch out the colors of my face. And that's it. It's as easy as that. I'm just switching out different like pieces of my wardrobe, but I'm being very consistent. Here's some examples of how I show up on my virtual meetings with my clients. Now, as you can see from these images, I am pretty consistent with my brand. And when I stop dressing the way I'm dressing, my clients are gonna get confused or they're gonna go, oh dear, that poor girl, she must be having such a rough day. Or, oh, she doesn't look very put together today and she's not exuding that confidence that I need from my brand manager. <sighs> it's giving me food for thought. I don't want to give my clients any room for doubt that I cannot do this job 100% every single time. And the way you put yourself together really, really spells that out for you. When you're thinking about a traditional job or a blue collar job, a lot of these blue collar workers, they have to kind of wear a uniform, kind of. You know, there's painters who have um, their logo on their t-shirts or their hoodies or their hats. That is totally fine. And your entire team is dressed in that same uniform, right? And that's a really, really good way to spread your brand messaging through your clothes, through how your team is put together. When you go to an event, many times the waiters and the bar staff and, and the support staff are actually wearing one consistent color. Typically it's black or is black and white. Now they are representing a very particular style. They're representing a particular industry and they're showing their clients and the people that they're working with, I am here to help you and all of anyone wearing this manner of outfit and this uniform, we are here to help you. They are clearly telling people without ever speaking or whether verbalizing to say, we are your staff, we are here to help you make this event great. Not once have you ever seen a server go up on stage and say, hey, anyone wearing black, come up on stage. and. We are here to show you that we are going to be serving you dinner, serving you drinks, blah, 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 taking your plates. That doesn't happen. This is all non-verbal communication. And this is why your personal brand and your personal brand image is so important. You are giving off non-verbal communication. I don't even have to say anything for me to like give off my vibes and give off like certain hints of my personality because all of this is kind of doing it for me. Now, I'll be curious to know what you think about me. Just by looking at how I put myself together, how I dress myself, there's a ton of subconscious thoughts that go through your head. Oh, she's this and there, she might belong to this country, she's da 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 da. There's gonna be a lot of those things. Now, these are not things that I am confirming. These are your thoughts based on how I'm appearing. You wanna make sure that your business has the best representation and as a brand ambassador that's you okay that's you and you are going to be the absolute best ambassador for your business if you are a plumber or a painter or a roofer or some sort of contractor it is advisable that you do wear something with your logo or something that spells out your brand message or have your colors but on the flip side, for a lot of my solopreneurs, I usually advise against wearing anything with your logo. So for example, I once had a lawyer as a client and they were wearing a t-shirt with their business name all over. That doesn't give out the right impression. Sometimes it can be very cheesy when you do wear your own logo. There's a time and space for that. 
If you're going to an event and you're representing your business, that could be an appropriate way for you to represent your business by having your business uniform on, your t-shirt with your logo. But usually every other time, unless you're a contract worker in the blue collar field, it's usually advisable to not wear your logo. But if you decide that you want to have a very traditional uniform, stick with it. Let's say you're a painter and you're always seen wearing your uniform and then the next day you're there to give the bill to your client and you're dressed in a suit. What impression are you leaving? You're not a salesperson, knock that off. Just come in wearing the usual clothes that you wear. This builds a lot of trust. The minute you break away from that, you go from casual to very formal and you're working with the same person, it kind of breaks that image of you. This is why consistency in how you put yourself together is very important. The last message I want to leave in this video is, you are in control of your brand. Not your mom, not your husband, not your wife, not your kids, not society, you are. You decide what to wear. You decide what fits you and your personality. Don't forget, dress for your lifestyle as well. There's no point wearing a tight fitted dress just for a meeting and every other time you're in loungewear. Don't forget, you are your business brand. And of course, there's a time and a place on how you dress and what you wear. Of course there is. But when you're gonna show up for your business, be consistent. Don't just come straight from the gym and then be in your gym clothes and jump on a Zoom call with your clients because it does give the wrong impression. It shows them that you kind of like squeeze them in and don't have time, even if a meeting has been scheduled for a very long time. Be consistent, be yourself. And if you have no idea what that means, join me in an image consulting. I already made a video about image consulting. Have a look, review it, and see if this is something that's right for you as a solopreneur. Leave me a message, follow, like, subscribe, leave me a DM. Here's my Instagram handle, please, 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 if you need any help on how you put yourself together as a solopreneur, your fairy boss mother is here to help you. And guys, I'll see you next time.